My name is Kendrick Sampson. I'm speaking in an individual capacity, not on behalf of the organization Build Power. I am an actor and an activist. And I would like to say, I, yeah, that too. Uh, and I would like to say, on behalf of myself, Jackie Lacey must go! Jackie Lacey must go! Jackie Lacey will go! Jackie Lacey must go! Jackie Lacey will go! Fuck the police! Fuck the police! Fuck the police! Fuck the sheriff! Fuck the sheriff! They looking over here, so give them a good finger. Say fuck the sheriff! Fuck the sheriff! One of them bitch ass motherfuckers decided to wave, so say it a little bit louder. Say fuck the sheriff! Say fuck the sheriff! Say fuck the sheriff! We talking about y'all bitch ass motherfuckers. See, this is just an example of how they don't take this shit seriously. Now, they try to act like they're not taking it seriously, but they bosses got their asses out here in big numbers, blocking off streets and shit for the same people that show up every week and do the same shit, spread the truth about their asses, about them slave catchers, right? Yes! So we know they're taking it seriously. They try to act like they not, but they putting a whole lot of money and resources into intimidating us, criminalizing us, right? And trying to discredit our work. Jackie Lacey gonna get the fuck up out that office. We gonna defund the police. We gonna defund the sheriff. We gonna pass Measure J, right? We gonna make sure that they know we about that life. We gonna continue to show up in the streets and we gonna continue to call them out for the slave catching bitches that they are. I love, you know, <laughs> a lot of the folks that come up here and speak, I just want y'all to know that a lot of them in the beginning were like, nah, I can't speak. Nah, I can't do that. Nah, that's just not, I don't have the words to say. And then they come up and kill this shit. They find their voice, they find what they need to say, and they speak the truth. Out of pain, out of a desire for justice, I think each one of y'all have that same desire, have that same drive, because you're out here, right? So whether, and just, just, let you, just to let you know, each of your lives is a platform, right? A lot of times I get asked about my platform and utilizing my platform and all this kind of stuff and speaking up for people with no platform. That's not, that does not exist. Everybody has a platform. Everybody has to utilize it. I'm lifting up the work of people that are changing the world. They, don't, they might not have as many social media followers as I have, but they're doing far more important work and doing, making far more important progress than I ever have. Because they're out there doing this work every single day, organizing their community making tangible changes, making sure that we know the actions that we have to take. So y'all have to do the same thing. I'm not saying you not, I don't know y'all. A lot of y'all, I don't even know you. But if you not, get to work. Every single day, it's crunch time till the election. Now. Let me get, make it real clear. This is a long-term struggle, lifelong fight to make sure everybody is free, to make sure we end anti-blackness, to make sure we end transphobia, end homophobia, 
dismantle policing, abolish policing, abolish this fucking legal system that was built to oppress, build up our communities to be autonomous and have the things that they need to thrive, make sure everybody has a home, make sure everybody has proper health care, make sure everybody has access to a, a quality education that teaches us about our history, not the oppressor's history, that it teaches history through our lens through our ancestors' lens, through liberators' lens, to make sure everybody can thrive and has the resources that they need because there's enough resources for everybody to thrive. This is a long-term fight, but right now, we are in crunch time for this election, and this is a huge, monumental election, and we gotta turn people out to vote. Voting, as Dr. Molina would say, nobody ever voted their way to freedom. So I'm not saying that this is the end all be all tactic, but it is a tool and an important tool for liberation. We need to remove Donald Trump from office in that whole fucking administration. If we can do it before the election, let's do it. Motherfucker got that Ku Klux COVID, right? I'm praying every day, whatever we can do to remove his ass and the rest of those motherfuckers out of that office, them white supremacists and their allies, get him the fuck up out of there. We need to remove other white supremacist allies like Jackie Lacey from office. And we need to make sure that we pass Measure J, pass Prop 17, right? There's a bunch of props that we need to make sure that we pass. We need to make sure that we're building up systems of protection around the most vulnerable, not waiting for this election every single day identifying the most vulnerable and coalition building and making sure we're building up systems of protection around people because white supremacists are ready. They are chomping at the bit to be aggressive, even more aggressive than they're already being, to be violent. And we keep us safe, not those fucking slave catchers. They are not here to keep us safe. They are here to oppress. They are here to harm. They are here to aid white supremacy. If you blow up their skirt, you will see that white hooded garb that they wear. All right? They are not here to protect us. So we have to protect each other. Because no matter what happens with this election, we say fuck Donald Trump. Say fuck Donald Trump. Say fuck Donald Trump. Say fuck Jackie Lacey. Say fuck the police. Say fuck the sheriff. If we get everything we want in this election, you say what? Right, right, right. Here we go, Jan for Jan. We got to get this one from the bottom of, you heard that from the bottom of her spirit. She call him Fuckboy Garcetti. Say fuck Garcetti. Say fuck Garcetti. Now, no matter what happens with this election, no matter what happens, if we get best case scenario, we get everything we want, everybody in position, everything defunded, everything funded that we want, say best case scenario, there will be a backlash. Right. 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 So I wanna drive this point home. We have to protect each other. We have to identify who's in our neighborhood, who's surrounding us, who's in our apartment buildings, identify our allies. Identify who's not our allies. 
Identify those gray areas. Organize. Everybody needs to become organizers up till this election. And we need to build this infrastructure for long-term liberation. If we were doing this in these past five years that BLMLA has been out here, and folks like L.A. Can and everybody before them, if we were doing it while they were asking and begging and demanding us to do this for years, we'd be in a much different place right now. The fact that we have to come out here is fucked up. Demanding the bare minimum of dignity that we should have. The bare minimum. That's fucked up that we have to demand this. You killed it, by the way. You killed it. You came up here and killed it. Talking about you don't know. You don't know how to speak. She came up here and killed this shit. It's fucked up that we have to do this. It's fucked up that the families have to come out and demand justice. Every single person, there's a, over a thousand people that law enforcement murders every year, shoots. That's just the people that are shot. I think. The people murdered by police. I think it's shot, am I right? Maybe. You know, no, 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 that is true, that is true. People shot by police because a lot of them don't count the people that are choked, right? The people that, and those are just the ones that are reported. Over a thousand people a year, over 1,000 people a year. If one died like this, if one, it's not their job to be executioners. They are not God. If one person died like this, the whole country should leave their doors, leave their houses, jump into the streets and demand justice and fuck shit up until we get it. Just one. They do over a thousand a year. This system has to be abolished and it's gonna take diligent work every single day. So organize yourselves. What are you doing every day? What's your action every single day? BLMLA makes it easy for you. They put out a calendar. They put out a whole calendar. You know, you said what? <laughs> well, I ain't do it. I was at BLMLA, <laughs> Jan and them. <laughs> I can't take credit for that. I follow the calendar. I got my own shit I gotta do, right? But I'm making sure that I do something every single day. And I'ma say for this election, in crunch time, do more than one thing every single day. More than one thing every single day. It's crunch time. We got 27 days, right? 27 fucking days. That ain't a lot. And it's 2020. If we ain't learned nothing else in 2020, it's that anything, any fucking thing is possible. Oh my fucking God, every day, unpredictable things happen. It's like a fucking roller coaster that's falling off the tracks. They're scary as fuck. One of them that you like, why the fuck did I get on this thing? 2020 has proven that anything can happen. So we can't take anything for granted. Shit, the last four years have proven anything is possible. So we can't take anything for granted. We have to do multiple things every single day up to this election and build that infrastructure for long-term liberation. Because as soon as November 3rd hits, we have work to do. We still got work to do. So take the tools that are, you're, you're, you're being provided with here. Ogie has been providing us with breath work. 
that's really important. We have to make clear-minded decisions because the oppressor is going to continue. I've been, I've been held accountable for this this week or last week. The oppressor is going to throw things at us to throw us off, to make us react, to make sure that we're always on the defense and that we're always reacting and losing sight of our strategy and our goals and our focus. We have to do as best as we can to breathe, to make sure that we get some rest, to make sure that we're looking out for each other, to make sure that we're eating properly and drinking properly. Water. <laughs> Making sure that we are getting the oxygen and the, and the nourishment that we need as best as we can because we know that these motherfuckers have made that really hard right now. But as best as we can to take care of each other and remember that we are in war. In war, you need lookouts, you need shooters, you need mechanics, you need cooks, you need every single thing, right? Whatever your role is in this, utilize every single second. I'm just gonna challenge y'all over these next 27 days. Every minute, I don't care what you're doing in work, whatever it is, utilize it for justice, utilize it for liberation. Utilize it for these next 27 days to get people to vote and fight and get out in these streets. Phone bank. Phone bank for Measure J. Sign up on one of these seats, right? They jumping up and down. They real excited and shit. Honor that excitement. Phone bank. Jackie Lacey must go. Knock on doors. Whatever you can do but also have conversations. Do things in between these things that have been set up by the organizations. Have conversations, text your friends, make sure you're getting 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 people and beyond to the polls and then we set this up, this infrastructure up for long-term liberation. I don't know how much I can say it, but I'm just gonna keep on, all right? Say Jackie Lacey must go. Say Jackie Lacey will go. Say Jackie Lacey must go. Say Jackie Lacey will go. D for the police. Say 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 D for the sheriff. 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 Say tear down Babylon. Black people are the bomb. We ready. Hey, fuck our city. Hey, say tear down Babylon. Black people are the bomb. We ready. Hey, fuck our city. Hey, say fuck our city. Hey, fuck our city. Hey, say fuck our city. Hey, fuck our city. Hey, say raise your fist and make it pop. Everybody say fuck Donald Trump. Say raise your fist and make it pop. Everybody say, fuck Donald Trump. Said everybody say, fuck Donald Trump. Said everybody say, fuck Donald Trump. Say raise your fist and make it pop. Everybody say, fuck Donald Trump. And the last one, we too strong. Now I'm going to change it up a little bit. We too strong, but we don't stop. Hey, fuck these bitch ass cops. Say we too strong, and we don't stop. Hey, fuck too strong and we don't stop. Hey, fuck these bitch ass cops. Say we too strong and we don't stop. Hey, fuck these bitch ass cops. Say we too strong and we don't stop. Hey, fuck these bitch ass cops. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, yeah, Jackie Lacey must. Jackie Lacey must go. Jackie Lacey will go. Jackie Lacey will go. Jackie Lacey must go. Jackie Lacey must go. Jackie Lacey will go. Jackie Lacey will go. And and that is not over.
over here, but I'm gonna tell y'all, Netta just told me that Netta doesn't live in LA County, right? She drives out here from Kern County every time she comes, because actually Dijon was living in Lancaster. He wasn't living in LA anymore. So Netta doesn't have a vote in LA County. So we gotta be Netta's vote, right? I be driving two and a half hours out here. I live in Kern County, so my vote don't matter out here, but they killing people out there too, because this is the niece of Michael that they killed a few days ago, actually. They shot him a few days ago, and they shot a man a couple months ago in front of the store, in front of the store I work at. Like, they killing people out there too. So, my voice, I want y'all to vote for me, please, okay? Next, we wanted to bring up 